Hello there, good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, quarter past one here, uh, late night. Uh, so today, uh, after one day's break, I'm back with another video, but this video is not going to be a full-on review. It's going to be a list, your favorite uh, type of videos. You can see a lot of fragrance in one video. Uh, as you can tell, this is going to be another summer list. We are still going through heat and humidity, so we keep doing this summer list, uh, shuffle here and there, um, show you, you know, sometimes same old, same old, but just for fun, you know, just keep the thing going, okay? So main idea today is uh, 20 fragrances per, uh, plus one honorable mention. Uh, these fragrances, I feel they're a little up class, okay? For summer, you can use this even for winter, no problem. They are very fantastic fragrance for all year round. But I really feel when it comes to smell from my collection, remember the points uh, for, for the smell from my collection and uh, nothing to do with longevity, price tag, design or niche nothing to do with it. These in my world are some of the finest uh, fragrance you can wear. Let's say you're going for a little bit of formal, say office work, or you're going to meet certain clients and stuff like that. This fragrance I feel really, really good. Uh, sometimes you may see reputation in terms of similar fragrances, but from different company, I'll let you know what they are, okay? And if you don't see your favorite fragrance, doesn't mean that they are not good, okay? And if you see these being ranked, you think like number 20, the worst, no. Uh, I just, for the sake of ranking, I'm ranking them. So always remember, trust your nose, smell your fragrance, try them, then buy them, okay? So here we go. Honorable mention I'm going to go with uh, is Guerlain's Finest Fragrance, one of the finest fragrance for summer, uh, Low Medial Cologne. Didn't feature this today. The reason being this is super uh, expensive, super rare. And uh, the thing is like the price tag that you have to pay. Uh, sometimes you may feel, you know, like hundred something dollars for, you know, something that you love. That is a different thing. But in general, uh, if it's really expensive, I cannot recommend you because I'm going to show you some of the fragrances equally good. So this fragrance, if it was available, it would make in my top five. Let you know it's a big fragrance. Low Media Cologne by Gala. I have already for you. Uh, it's not as good as this in terms of up class vibe, but uh, there are a lot of similarities, which is Gala Low Medial Cool, but didn't make the list today. Okay, so you can think of these two are honorable mention. Low Medial Cologne, Low Medial Cool. So that's that. Uh, so we have 20 fragrances. Let's start. Okay, this video may run a little long because I'll speak about each fragrance. Don't want to do just like one by one by one five second video. Okay. Uh, and last thing, one last thing, I'm sorry. Uh, one last thing is sometimes you may feel some of these entries are not as per your liking. You have a lot of better fragrances. Yeah, of course, people have different tastes, different collection. And sometimes you feel some fragrances because they are cheap, they're not going to make it. Uh, that's not the case for me. Price tag doesn't determine quality. Fragrance juice does, all right? Number 20 is such a uh, classic example would be Versace, the dreamer. Uh, the reason being this perfume is so underrated, you know, still available and this is one of their more affordable Versace fragrances. This one, people say doesn't have the tobacco for them. They have this like nice sort of uh, like a light, they say it's like a fresh tobacco leaf, sort of like a lavender dreamy perfume. I get a lot of tobacco on the dry down. The dry down of this magic, uh, I mean dry down of this perfume is proper magic. You can wear it all year round. Uh, such a beautiful looking bottle. I think this is a classic Okay, those who know, this is a bit mature, but I think this fragrance works really fine. Great performance versus such a dreamer number 20. I don't know if that's discontinued now, okay, but I'm telling you, it still can be had. Number 19, I'm going to go with another classic, Dolce & Gabbana, uh, Purong, okay. So this one is the EDT version, and there is also, I think, a few flankers of it. I do have Intenso, uh, and then there are light blue, light blue Purong, light blue Intense, those fragrances are there, but... Why am I recommending this one? These fragrances people don't show anymore. This one, they definitely have some age. And this one, mine is made in, I think, France, okay? So these are some of the good batch. Germany, France, uh, the UK one is the last batch they made. They're making it UK. This is good, but you know, like, it doesn't really have that sort of magic. And if you can get the sticker version, you get a beautiful the opening uh, lemon, okay? This one also has almost 85% of that original sticker essence. I smell them side by side, but the original one sticker version was a dream, okay? So this one also features tobacco and it's not really fresh perfume, okay? But this is so high class. You know, Versace Dreamer smells high class. This one even smells the same. The tobacco in this is very manly. It has peppery cake, it has lemon, it has, as far as I, as far as my memory serves me, it got tobacco. And it has some other notes. I don't remember all of them, obviously, but this fragrance has this. My father, I gave it to him. He used one whole bottle in like less than a year. Big bottle like this. So he actually is a mature man. So this for mature men, if you want to go suit it up, this fragrance smells so good. You know, like in air, if you pass by someone, 
you might feel a little bit harsh in the opening, but the dry down is really lovely. Dodge and Gabbana, Purom, this number 19. Number 18, one of my favorite fragrances from House of Nishane. This fragrance is so underrated. Uh, this is Saffron Colonies, okay? I do wear this when I need to really make a fragrance, make feel presence. You know, this one has huge presence, got the freshness of Neroli, but at the same time got this uh, something like a leathery, sort of like a saffrony vibe with the original. Uh, both of them are beast, okay? You can get either one. This one you can wait in the winter, but something, the presence of this perfume is just like extra. You can get Mugler Cologne, you can get Ferrari Bright Neroli, but those don't have quite the up-class vibe of this Nishane, and they put like, huge amount of fragrance oil or something they last forever so this one definitely try you can try hachiva doesn't smell that up close to me you can go oolong cha smells very casual nice light but for being like man it up a little bit you need to go nishane saffron cologne is such a beautiful fragrance check it out really nice perfume and more affordable nishane that's number 18. number 17 we're gonna go with mancera black gold this perfume, you may ask why this is in summer list, because we live in Bangladesh. Let me tell you one thing, frankly, okay? We live in Bangladesh and our country do not have that, like that sort of winter that you guys have. Like if you live in States or UK somewhere, uh, like in Europe, you guys get like amazing winter. Even some of the African countries somewhere, uh, I think some like, like Japan, countries like they have snowfall, very nice weather. We don't get that. We always are like, you know, hot and humid. So because even our temper is always up there you know so we have to wear fragrances you know we cannot let the weather you know play with us recent days we don't get any winter whatsoever due to the climate change but this fragrance i find is a freshness okay freshness in this it's a fresh leather perfume it has some sort of uh, citrusy uh, leathery and they have some some other notes i forgot maybe florals and stuff such a great fragrance you know it smells even up close than mansara cedra boise lemon lime Something about this perfume, really, really good. You can get the oud ones, but I don't like oud in summer. So, Black Gold by Mansara, very nice perfume. Number 17. Number 16, here comes a fragrance. Uh, many people will uh, not give love or appreciation. Uh, this is a little bit of uh, aqua taste. You have to get used to that opening. And once you understand the concept of this perfume, you will absolutely love it. This is a bit mature, but again, for summer, such a good fragrance and from the whole i have about a lot of these guerlain fragrances i did not feature those i have featured this one okay this is lance tente guerlain purom edt the new version you can get this for very good price tag within 50 55 bucks such an uh honorable fragrance i would say honorable fragrance this is a lighter version of uh, my favorite change this lich but this is very strong and good for winters in my humble opinion like dhi your dhp but something about this, they added this extra freshness, extra mandarin or citrus up top. So that cacao, bitter cacao, patchouli, those things, it becomes even more wearable. You know, so summertime, very good performer as well. This is something you wear with a suit. Imagine something like a brown suit or something like it. This will go perfectly. If you're wearing brown leather shoes, this is the fragrance you should wear. Okay. Do not look at niche tag, designer tag. Guerlain is a niche house. Okay. For me. And this, for the price, is unbelievable how they give that quality. Even same for Vetiver and other fragrances, okay? So definitely one of my favorite fragrances, Lance Negrelan, Pura Humidity, number 16. Number 15, Amarud Wet Stone. This perfume I saw in Max Forty's review and I was a fan of this line. I got this one and Lunar Vetiver. Just one thing is the presentation is just top notch. This is all metal. Check out my full-on review. I can smell them from the cap. This one. Why am I not featuring Lunar Vetiver? Because I have something similar in the lineup today. But Whetstone, if you ever love simple, I just put it simply out there, okay? If you like Ambergris, if you did like uh, Creed's uh, Erolfa, but you found that to be a little bit underperforming, it has this uh, salty, aquatic, sort of like Miles Imperial meets uh, uh, Erolfa. If you like that sort of DNA, this is on steroids, guys, okay? It has that sort of a uh, white, fresh feel at the same time that, you know, the Ambergris, at the same time, it does have that aquatic melon vibe with a salty touch. So if you do like those kind of fragrances, this is something in summer, it's very high class. You put this on and walk next to people, they will not recognize the perfume, you know. This is like very unique, standout sort of fragrance, okay. Very big perfume, Whetstone by Amarud. That's number uh, 15. Number 14, here comes Vetiver Gang. I am going to feature Bentley Beyond Collection. This is Wild Vetiver as far as I know, yes. Uh, I bought this one. I have only this one. I'm planning to buy the Kashmir version. This 
one thing, you know, like I told in the video, my review, these fragrances are expensive, you know, for definite reason they want to charge. But if they were available under 50, 60 bucks, if they made it more reachable to people, people will buy this for the quality, performance, you know, like this one also smells a lot of like other vetivers, but that opening lemon verbena, it has some peppery touch, you know, a lot of pepper. And the presence of this perfume is big. It's like a literally like a strong man, you know, if you watch the movie 300, Gladiator, those kind of men wear this kind of fragrance. Green, uh, nature-like, strong, masculine, and lasts all day almost. Really nice fragrance. If you are a fan of vetiver, you should definitely try it. Very up-class fragrance. Bentley, Beyond Collection, Wild Vetiver, number 14. Number 13, and the fragrance no one will expect, but this fragrance for me is one of the best fragrances, one of my signature scents, okay? This is Dunhill's Icon, okay? Always, always I'm gonna have this bottle, you know? The rest of the lines, fine, but nothing beats this juice. The first time I remember, I smell this in a shop. I can tell you one thing, it doesn't matter if you're a new uh, fraghead, if you're an old fraghead, you're gonna always appreciate this perfume, okay? Because the fragrance smells so unique. They say similar to Teodermis, I find nothing not much okay difference or i mean not much similarity they all have their differences cartier declaration tdh but this one the fragrance is so well balanced they made a masterpiece here they should make an intense version of it maybe may perfume or something because it deserves it okay daniel's icon a must buy fragrance for you if you like neroli leather if you like uh, vetiver this one has a lot of those citruses lemon amazing fragrance this is one of the best fragrance in this budget okay Daniels icon okay i think uh we have uh i lost track <laughs> number 12 number 12 is prada long uh some of you are like already cursing at me i understand you'll be like Wing, you know like why this is not in your top 10 top 5 you know why uh because today i'm feeling like this okay that's it it's always in my list every now and it's such a lovely easy to wear iris sort of like a wet sort of feel nice floral soapy fragrance you know it's like high class high class bar of soap so prada Lome and this one in the low both i love but today i'm showing prada Lome because i feel like a little bit sweeter you know <laughs> so prada Lome basically for office you wear this people smell you you're the boss okay if you're wearing this and you enter your boss's room and he's wearing like hugo boss let's say something uh, like a casual scent okay like I don't know, or not Hugo Boss, let's say he's wearing CK1 and you're wearing this, you are his boss, he will know, he will ask you what you're wearing because you smell so high class. Sometimes you can make an impression, like a boardroom meeting or interview, put this on, okay, you'll make a great impression, okay, Prada Long, very high class. Number 11, Cartier Roadster, this one and the Sport, both are discounted, hard to find, but if you see this somewhere, get it now because this one still can be had for well under $100, okay pure class and pure weird fragrance okay you will not find fragrance like it got this mint it got this very authentic mint patchouli vanilla it has a very weird combination but don't bother you know just keep wearing it it's like the fragrance sort of like your best buddy you know it's like a bodyguard it gives you so much confidence you know so high class okay so this one for summer i always recommend it i'm just happy i have a backup bottle like this uh, i highly recommend this one cartier underrated gem one of the best they ever made that i sniffed Cartier Rosa number 11. So let's start top 10. Time's running out. Top 10, number 10. Let's go fast, fast. Dior Sauvage EDT. Okay. Some of you are like judging. Uh, isn't the EDT for summer? Yes. But when you think of EDT, I, want to pull, I wanted to put Blood Chanel EDP. Okay. But then I realized Blood Chanel doesn't do so well in high heat. Sauvage does. You know, they are a bit more uh, like budget wise, budget friendlier. You can get better value for Savage than Blood Chanel, but Blood Chanel overall a better scent, but one thing is, after you put it on, you go out, gone in one hour, summer, winter time good. This one is good for winter, but this is more sweeter, more deeper, and more mature version of Savage. You can get the Parfum, I don't know how the elixir is, but this one, when I wear it, uh, I get like, like people ask me, like my friends, my family, they ask me like, what you're wearing, it smells really nice, it smells like a very known DNA, but it smells like up class. So the Savage EDT, uh, very good casual. This one I would say is a bit more up class. Okay, so try it out. Savage EDT by Dior. Number nine is a fragrance I'm all in love. Okay, recent times, but I'm giving it more time. Maybe in time I will not be in love like this, but I'll still feature it in top 10. Okay, Prada, and this is, I always say Luna Rosa. I don't know why. This is Prada Infusion Diaries Sidra. Okay, big bottle, 200ml. You know I got it recently. 
Uh, this one, you can get Prada Infusion Dome, any of the infusion, they all smell fantastic. I have this, so I'm showing you this one. This is Prada's more like a niche line, I guess. Such a luxurious bar of soap. So many Pradas made this list for obvious reasons. Some are high class bar of soap, right? This features Iris, and I think they have Iris, uh, they have uh, Sidra, Cedar, Neroli, uh, I think uh, Incense and uh, Benzoin. So got some sweetness going, but it's a very flat sort of scent. Not flat, it's like a very, uh, doesn't change so much, okay? It's like a uniform scent, not uniform, what's the word? It doesn't change so much, that's the word, you know, that's it. So the fragrance, you know, if you like Prada Lom, I think this one is two notch above Prada Lom because it has more character, it has more beautiful body to it, it's more unisex style. Check out Prada Infusion Diaries Citra, number nine. Okay, now comes next and last Prada, I guess, yeah. And this is the Prada that I feel the most luxurious one, okay? This is called Prada Amber Purim, okay? Discontinued for what reason? For what reason? This perfume, out of all of it, why would you choose this one? This one's not selling. It really got me surprised. I don't know, whatever the reason. This one I always have a bottle of. The most beautiful looking bottle of juice color and all that, metal plate. Uh, just check out my review how much I love it. This is the best soapy smell in my collection. So, that's it. You know, like enough said. That's number eight. Prada Amber Purum, excellent, excellent performer. Number seven, by rid of Balde Afrik. Why this is not now in top five? Again, today I'm feeling like this, okay? But this is again one of my most rich fragrance of summer. I wear this like crazy. I wear like six, seven sprays. I know it, you don't need that much, but I like to smell it through my mask, okay? And it does perform. It never disappoints for me, you know, like summer days. I, in my shirt, it stays for two, three days. Such good quality. Bayero is a house you should definitely check out. Very, very worthy of your money. Most of the fragrances are very beautiful, okay? Uh, Bayero, Balde Afrique. Amazing bottle and magnetic top and all that. Just smell it, you'll see what I mean. I am just like, you know, if you are really in love with some perfume, this is one of them, okay? This is Balde Afrique. Balde Afrique, Balde Afrique okay? So that leaves me number six, and then we hit number five. A top five. Number six will disappoint love for some of you. You'll be like, really, this is my number one. I understand, but I feel the next five I love a little bit more because they are, you know, for me, a little bit more up class than this one. But still, I'm featuring this for summer. This is uh, the beautiful bottle called Sedley from Parfum de Marley. This fragrance I'm wearing a lot. Got this beautiful mint, got this lavender. It has this barbershoppy feel. It reminds me of Zerge of, uh, uh, what's that fragrance? Uh, Zerge of the green bottle, Fiero, okay? But more modern, you know? Dior Savage, but more modern. Maybe it's too gentle, but more wearable. So this is less sweet, more tart, citrus, lemon, a lot of lemon, mandarin, orange, everything is there, but mint and lavender, two big players. Check it out, extremely long lasting, ex extremely high class, but extremely expensive too. You really need to test it before you buy it, okay? Do not blind buy this because it's a mature fragrance, okay? But I still feel this very, very high class. It's growing on me, okay? This is number six, Sedley. Top five, number five, Tom Ford, Boudé You guys understand Tom Ford? They have big place in my heart. I have featured two Tom Fords here, okay? And Boudé is basically, I just love it. If this one runs out, I'll buy on the bottle. Lavender, lavender and lavender. If you like citrus and lavender combo, if you like barbershop modern style, well tailored suit, this one will get you noticed everywhere. If you're wearing this, people will ask you, are you driving an Audi or a Jag or a Porsche? Okay, that, that luxurious, okay? But uh, the fragrance, you know, is not for everybody. Must try before you buy. This kind of fragrance I would not wear two, three years back. Now I love them. Man, massive fragrance, beautiful. Number five. Number four. This is my list. Number four is Viking, not Aventus. Aventus, for some reason, people find it so up class, like a very formal. I find Aventus to be like everyday buddy, you know, like Aventus is more like I have Aventus. But Aventus to me feels like the pineapple. You know, when you think of pineapple, you think of barbecue. You know, barbecue is not so formal. But something, if you, just telling you one thing, if you smelled Old Spice, like, like aftershave sort of spicy smell, and you just like that DNA, and you think of something uber niche, like uber high class and something spicy sort of like a citrusy spicy ambergris sort of mix you definitely have to try uh, this one this fragrance viking the new cologne i haven't tried but this one definitely i would highly recommend just a stunner this is perhaps one of the best my number one is royal Oud. number two is definitely this one okay i do love a lot of creeds but this one great fragrance it, it totally like uh, it, sometimes it can be misunderstood you have to study this perfume to understand it okay number four Viking. 
Number three, number two, number one. This is the most shocking entry in the top five. Most of you will be like, what, what did he say? He just said that, you know. <laughs> I did say that. Uh, this fragrance is uh, Godfather. Any guesses? Uh, I guess no. Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDD, Eau de Toilet. This one has so, so, so many flankers right now. I lost track. But something about this DNA, this particular one, you know, the, if you want to wear something for summer, you can go some of the other ones, you know, gray, you can go gentleman, some of the other ones. But to me, this DNA of this grapefruit, that tobacco, okay? What is in the ginger? Uh, whatever is in there, the tropical fruit punch. Whatever is in this perfume and this bottle, this is a smell of a godfather. And the godfathers you guys know, respect. Otherwise, you get murdered. <laughs> Sorry about that. Bad joke. But don't think about the one EDT. Smell this DNA, especially EDT, and wear this for summer. You'll see kind of uh, compliments people give you. High class all the way. Number three, don't think about the one EDT. Number two and number one. Very close battle, I would say. Okay. When it comes to class, uh, Tom Ford does it on the best. Okay. And it didn't make number one quite, but number two, big fragrance. Uh, I did say uh, I liked the Bentley more than any other vetiver fragrance just after uh, Sultan vetiver but again you know like the citrus something about the magic just the perfect blend you know even the Gildan couldn't touch this I feel we talk about class it's not as beast mode as that Bentley but this is good for suit hardly any fragrance you can find better than grey vetiver of Tom Ford this is the EDP the EDP has a lot more citrus I hear I don't have it get the EDP good great performer still man this uh, this this lemon and the vetiver is just so sexy you can almost drink it that good okay the other ones you take a little bit time to get used to it but don't forget vetiver number two today one of the most up class niche uh, style summer perfume number one very obvious isn't it uh, this has been shamelessly in my list all this time the reason is just a simple thing the smell i couldn't find a better smelling fragrance than this in this whole 20 list i'll just be honest with you if you love citrus lemon if you do like something in the best citruses you know they use the best citrus notes this is a chanel Elurum cologne uh, this is the sport cologne version they also have a cologne sport something something you know like same juice different name but if you find one of these bottles just take it trust me on this this one at first you think it's an edc fashion you know it's like a cologne but when you wear it, if you see Dioron Cologne, Dioron Cologne doesn't have anything on this one because that one is very skin scent. This one projects like nobody's business. At least one and a half hour it will project. But for citrus smell, so high class. You know, it smells like James Bond. It smells like rich movie stars. And the fragrance lasts a long time because of the EDT concentration. Check it out. This is Chanel Elirum Sport Cologne. Or you can get the cologne sport as well this is the best for summer from the chanel house okay that's my top 20 list big list long time I'm sorry for that if you don't want to watch it perhaps you've seen the list i always put the names that one also works but why are they here sometimes you need to hear a story take care thanks for watching uh, i think i'll just sign off for the night good night from Dhaka, bangladesh bye bye